Hi everyone, it's Mao from Sparkly Valley. Last week, I shared with you how to make this DIY floating mermaid seashell bra top. And today, I want to make this armband that looks like curly seaweed to accessorize our mermaid costume. It's fun and easy. Let's get started. To make this DIY seaweed armband, you need 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters of organza fabric. I'm using green and purple organza to match my bra top and skirt. 50 centimeters by 10 centimeters of stretch fabric. I'm using this nude fabric here, but leftover stretch fabric from your bra top or mermaid skirt will be fine and cute as well. 50 centimeters or 20 inches of 2.5 centimeter or 1 inch wide elastic. And 30 centimeters or 12 inches of 1 centimeter or 3 8 of an inch wide elastic. This is optional, but it helps keep the armband up. I'll show you how to do this. 40 pound fishing line. This is optional as well, but it helps define the curls. It's really cool. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. First, fold your organza twice like this and measure 15 centimeters or 6 inches from the corner. Cut along the marks and you have a 30 centimeter or 12 inch wide circle. Now draw a swirl from the outer line to the center. I'm keeping the distance between the lines about 7 centimeters or 2 and 3 quarter inches. Cut along the line and trim off this thick part near the beginning of the swirl. And you have this long curly strip. You can trim it to whatever length you like. I made another one in purple and this one is also a 30 centimeter or 12 inch wide circle. But the distance between the swirl lines is narrower, about 5 centimeters or 2 inches. When you make the distance narrower, you get a longer strip. Now finish the inside edge of the swirl. I did a simple zigzag stitch along the inside edge and you can finish the outside edge the same way or use fishing line for more defined curls. Let me show you how to do that. On the wrong side of the strip, place the fishing line about 2 millimeters or 1 eighth of an inch from the outer edge of the strip. The outer edge is the longer, curlier edge. Wrap the fishing line with the fabric like this and leave a 20 centimeter or 8 inch tail here. Take it to your sewing machine and do a zigzag stitch over this wrapped fishing line. Make sure the thread encases the fishing line wrapped in fabric. Continue to wrap and sew the entire length. And now as you can see, the curls are more defined and three-dimensional. You can see a more detailed instruction on how to do this in my lettuce hem tutorial. You can find the link in the description below. Repeat for the other strip. Now let's make the armband. First, wrap the elastic around your upper arm and make it snug and tight. Give it extra 2 centimeters or 3 quarter inch and cut. Then take your stretch fabric and cut it to a strip that's the same length as the elastic and 7 centimeters or 2 and 3 quarter inches wide. Fold 1 centimeter or 3 eighths of an inch from the bottom edge towards the wrong side and bring your strips. Trim off excess fishing line and place the corners of your seaweed strips right in the middle. Overlap the strips and fabric by at least 2 cm or 3 quarters of an inch. Then fold 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch from the top edge and bring that fold down to meet the bottom fold. Match up the folded edges and do a zigzag stitch here. Insert your elastic through this tube. I'm using a safety pin to guide the elastic here. And pull out the elastic and overlap the ends about 2 cm or 3 quarters of an inch and sew the ends together. Smooth out the fabric so that the ends are on the opposite side of the seaweed strips and overlap the ends. Fold the edge of the top layer inside so it looks nice and clean. Do a straight stitch to secure the fabric in place. Here's a little trick that keeps your armband in place. Take the thinner elastic and cut it to the length that's a little shorter than the armband. Sew the ends together. And attach it to the inside of the armband at four points like this. 
The thinner elastic will be tighter and helps keep the armband in place, but it's hidden on the inside of the thicker armband so the bumps won't show on your arm. Then make a wristband in a similar way except you don't sew in the strips. Just make the band and sew the other ends of the strips to it. I left the tail of the longer strip so it sort of hangs and floats from the wrist. Decorate the bands and strips if you like and your seaweed armband is complete. Also, I made shorter strips out of leftover fabric and placed the ends of the strips in a hair clip and clipped it to my hair. Now I can wear a little matching seaweed on my hair as well. This was a very easy project, but the two colors of the seaweed strips tie the mermaid bra top and skirt together. And the armband really completes the whole outfit. And of course, the curly strips float beautifully as you move your arm. I hope you like this DIY seaweed armband tutorial. And if you did, please share this tutorial with your friends and make a whole bunch together. And next week, I'll show you how to make this cute and easy fishtail mermaid skirt to complete the mermaid costume. If you're curious, make sure to subscribe to my channel and sign up for my newsletter at sparklybelly.com so you won't miss it. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!